Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about how Grand Theft Auto Online received a new update and patch. And also looking ahead at the future, how Rockstar left little hints and clues in the contract DLC that tells us what we can expect next. So let's actually begin with the patch that came out earlier today. Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2 put this out saying Tunable's update, Rockstar disabled the gang termination security contract, likely to do with the bug not counting a gang leader you killed indirectly, which means you couldn't end up finishing the security contract. And this is actually quite nice. And the reason Rockstar disabled it is you can probably only resolve something like this with a title update or like a patch something we probably have to download. So Rockstar Games might be waiting on E&E &E to deploy a ton of bug fixes with it, or it still could be coming, of course, but we are really close to E&E &E at this point. I mean, it is the last day of February. So it's definitely a bug that I'm glad they fixed because it's very annoying if you do the mission on a helicopter. So that's actually quite nice. Good on Rockstar for actually fixing this. And another bug that we talked about sort of earlier on in the week. It actually had to do with the payphone contracts and how Rockstar accidentally messed up the payouts. So they unintentionally reverted them back to default payouts, which was 15,000 for doing it and a $35,000 bonus, meaning you could only get $50,000 in total. Well, just before the weekend, Rockstar addressed the issue with the payphone hits payouts, and now they pay as before. 15000 for normal and a $70,000 bonus if you're able to do it exactly how the game wants you to do it. So those are some nice little updates and changes that Rockstar made right there. Again, we are really only 15 or so days away from expanded and enhanced. So any changes that do happen are very likely going to be band-aids for the big update that happens on March 15th. So that's that. Now, moving on to a couple of other interesting things. This comes from Insider Tez Funds 2 on the GTA Forum site. So he said, Rockstar often plans out and works on two updates at the same time, a mid-sized update and the big one. Work on Cops and Crooks started early 2020, and Cayo Perico was being planned out and worked on at the same time. We can conclude from a previous post, the Diamond Casino update was in development when After Hours released. Plus, the contract DLC was in development before the Tuners update. In fact, Rockstar themselves confirmed they weren't sure of when to release the contract DLC, with Rob Nelson saying, we weren't even sure when this update was going to land, whether it would be in the summer, now, or later. There were a lot of moving parts we needed to nail down. So once we knew we were going to be working with him and we were going to feature the music, the next thing we needed to do was to figure out how to integrate him into the world and going on to say and from what we found within the files there's definitely more planned for the agency a new vip contract plus i find it interesting that rockstar decided to bring back franklin at the time e and e was originally planned to come out or before alongside the contract update release almost like rockstar was planning this out to work with sean fontano on both gta online and story mode content a fitting schedule to include some new content into story mode with E&E. &E. So just talking about that first part, Rockstar does work on multiple updates at the same time. We saw that the Diamond Casino update was being developed when After Hours released. That was back in 2018. The contract DLC was in the works even before the Tuners update came out. And because they were working with such a high-profile client like Dr. Dre, they didn't know when the actual update was going to come out but we do know there's more planned for the agency it very much looks like there's going to be a new vip contract whether that's rosalita or michael de santa whether there's going to be new security contracts we don't know it also looks like expanded and enhanced might feature some actual single player content i know in grand theft auto online we got the short trip stuff we got some of our favorite story mode characters, but there could be things that are just for single player here because Sean Fontano is back. And you would think Rockstar being the smart company that they are, they'd like to kill two birds with one stone, doing some stuff for online with Franklin and also doing some stuff in single player for Franklin, just like what they did when they added single player content to GTA 5 when it was released for the PS4. 
and Xbox One. So I'm hoping that's the exact same thing here. Now, moving on to some more information here. Rockstar Insider Test Funds 2 says there's definitely more planned for Record A Studios. Rockstar went through the effort and length of making a schedule for Dr. Dre's arrival at Record A Studios. If a new music artist is introduced, Rockstar could alternate between Dr. Dre being available on one day and the new artist available on the other day. And all signs are pointing towards Rosalita being featured next. So he does bring up a good point because why would Rockstar make a schedule for Dr. Dre other than to make it look more realistic, like he's not in the studio 100% of the time, but also that he could be switched out, kind of like our DJs at our nightclub. And one of the more also high profile people featured in this update was Rosalita, who is the radio host and DJ of Motomami Los Santos. She's a high profile artist as well. So for her to only appear in a radio station seems like a waste of her time and talent. So she very much could next be the VIP client. That would not be surprising at all and making more use of Record A Studios. And as a follow-up to that, he said the weekly tunables are already scripted to shuffle up Dr. Dre's schedule from the A pattern to B on one week and then from the B pattern to A the week after. I think this level of effort would make more sense with another artist appearing at Record A Studios. That way you could check out the other artist on the day Dre skips instead of the current state with Dr. Dre appearing on some days and skipping the other days. Again, that would make sense. On day one, you've got Dr. Dre. On day two, you have someone like Rosalita or something like that. But that way, Record A Studios just isn't empty 50% of the time. Makes it also feel a little bit more realistic. So that's something I could very much be looking forward to, essentially the contract DLC part two. And then really last but not least today, just a little bit of interesting information. Someone asked Tez Funds 2, were there any changes in the GTA Online netcode to support more than 30 players? I've encountered loads of sessions with 31 or 32. And he says, as Spider Vice mentioned, GTA Online always supported two additional slots for spectators. But at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if modders managed to sneak in using these extra slots as actual players rather than simply spectators. So kind of just looking forward to the future. I wonder what the lobby size is going to be in expanded and enhanced GTA 5. Uh, is it going to feature, you know, more than 30 players? Is it going to feature, you know, something crazy like 70 or 80 or 100? Uh, you guys can let me know what you think about that in those comments down below and everything else we discussed in this video today. I think it's kind of cool that it looks like we're going to be getting a contract DLC part two. Also, let me know who you think the VIP is and again, everything else we discussed in this video today. If you guys did go to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.